Hey guys, Argyfontes here, and this is my walkthrough of the countdown puzzle. So this is a very cool little puzzle. Our opponent has 4 husks and 4 tarsiers, as well as 12 shadow fangs at the start. And the shadow fangs are going to take 10 turns to construct, so we have a little bit of breathing space where we only have to defend 4 damage for a while. On our side of the field we have no attack, but we do have access to 6 drones. So with those 6 drones we get to buy engineers and walls for defense, and also rhinos as our only attacking unit. Now rhinos kind of interesting, it can attack twice before it becomes just a wall with 2 HP. So it's not permanent damage by any means, but you get to attack with them and then eventually block with them. There's a key observation that will make this puzzle a lot easier, and that is the fact that you have exactly 10 Rhino supply and each Rhino can attack twice. That means at most you can do 20 damage. Our opponent has exactly 20 health. 12 Shadow Fangs plus 4 Tarsiers plus 4 Husks equals 20. So what this means is we have to attack with every Rhino twice. We have to use up each Rhino stamina before we can block with it. If we lose a Rhino that can still attack, then we will lose this mission because we won't have enough damage to actually kill all our opponent's units. So with that observation in mind, let's get started. So to start off, we're going to buy a Rhino because the two walls are going to be sufficient for defense. We're not going to get full absorb value, of course, but that's okay for the purposes of this puzzle. And our strategy is just going to be to squeeze in rhinos whenever we can get away with it. Because the point is to race our opponents. We want to do enough damage to his shadow fang count before they actually get off their first volley. Unfortunately, we will have to buy a wall on our second turn. Because we, again, can't defend with the rhino until we attack with it twice. So, on our third turn, we again buy another wall and attack with our rhino. At this point, our Rhino is depleted, which means on our next turn, we will no longer have to buy a wall. Instead, we can just buy a Rhino here, and then leave the other Rhino on defense. We're going to save up the 4 gold. Instead of buying the Engineers, what we're actually going to do is, on the following turn, where we have this Rhino, we're going to buy 2 more Rhinos, and then attack with the Rhino. So, because we have 2 Rhinos here on defense, we actually have enough defense, it's just that we're going to have to be forced to lose the wall. However, this is actually one of the many different routes we can take to beat this mission. There's a couple different options of beating this mission, depending on the order you buy your rhinos, walls, and engineers. But in my particular chosen path, we're going to attack for 3 damage really early on in the game, and then kill 2 of his Tarsiers, leaving our opponent on 2 damage. This means, if we buy a wall, there is actually no way for our opponent to break through until his Shadow Fangs start firing. This will give us plenty of turns to buy Rhinos, and for the next 3 turns, we're just going to spam Rhinos whenever we can, and start whittling down his Shadow Fang supply. There's no real point in killing the Tarsiers because they're no longer doing damage, and Shadow Fangs just deal double the damage of Tarsier while having the same health. So from this point forward, we're going to kill his Shadow Fangs before we deal with his Tarsiers. Finally, we reach the turn the Shadow Fangs are going to fire, but because we planned ahead, we actually have enough defense to be able to just buy two Rhinos here. And our opponent will be doing 12 damage, but once again we can just lose the wall here and defend like that. And with our 3 Rhinos we can kill 3 Shadow Fangs and then buy a wall. So on this turn our opponent will be doing 6 damage, which will be enough to breach, but he can't kill any of our Rhinos. That's the important part. The most he can do is kill a drone, which is fine because we just get to attack with our remaining Rhinos, buy a wall, and then finally, our opponent is on exactly to attack. So with our remaining Rhino, we can just go ahead and kill his last Tarsier, thus completing the puzzle. Like I said, there's a couple minor variations. They're not very interesting, so I'm not going to show them, but you can play around with that if you like. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Velcar Gold puzzle.